Good morning, my dear children. How are you all? Hope everybody is fine, happy and enjoying your lessons. Are you ready for your maths lesson? Today, we are going to learn sequencing. Learning objectives. Sequence events correctly, including seasons of the year, using appropriate language. What is sequencing? Sequencing is understanding how a series of objects, events and time occur in a specific and logical order. Simply, it is sequencing the objects, events or time in order. In the previous lesson, we learned how to sequence the days of the week the months of the year and we already know how to sequence the numbers as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let's learn sequencing with the example of seasons. How many, day, how many seasons are there in a year? There are four seasons in a year. Which are the four seasons of the year? Look at the pictures. What do the pictures show? Read the names of the seasons. Spring, Summer, Autumn and Winter. These are the four seasons of the year. Let's discuss some common features of each season. For example, in summer, days are warm. We see a lot of birds, butterflies and flowers blue in spring season. Leaves change its color and fall in autumn season. We feel cold and snow fall in winter season. Now let's think which season comes after summer. After summer, it's autumn, which is also known as fall. Autumn season comes after summer. Which season comes before spring? Before spring, we get the winter season. Now, can you say which season comes after autumn? After autumn, we get the winter season. What order should these pictures be in? Autumn, spring, winter, summer. Can you say in which order the seasons comes? Winter, spring, Summer and Autumn. In summer season, we go to the beach and we can play outside. In autumn season, we see the leaves changing its colors and falling. In spring, we can see a lot of birds, butterflies and flowers. In winter season, the snow falls and we wear Winter clothes to keep ourselves warm. Which seasons do we have in UAE? We have all these seasons in UAE. How do we describe the day that we are on right now? We call it today. Do you know what we call the day that happened before today? It is yesterday. And what about the day after today? What do we call it? Yes, we call the day after today as tomorrow. So, you know today, yesterday and tomorrow. Let's see another example. 
What order should these pictures be in? What comes first? Let's sequence these events. First, wash your hands with water. And can you tell me what comes next? Yes, apply plenty of soap. And then, rub your hands together. Make sure that you are putting soap everywhere on the hand. And then, rinse with water. When you finish, wipe your hands with a tissue or a towel. Here is an activity. Write the months of the year on the sticks. Mix up the sticks and the learner must put it back in order again. Dear parents, you can help them with this. Now, you can play a game with this. Remove a month and the child must guess which month is missing. These are the things you need. Colored craft sticks or popsicle sticks. You can color plain sticks also. And a marker to write the months of the year or the days of the week. Here is another activity. Do you see this picture? It shows the activities of a child in sequence. Now it's your turn. Think of your activities yesterday or today. Draw or write the activities in sequence with the help of your mom or dad. You can make it a habit to note down the important events in your life. That is the end of today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Dear parents, kindly download the worksheets and let the students enjoy doing it until they are thorough with the topic. Thank you.